The G7 financial sector will meet soon. The US takes the opportunity to propose to its counterparts to introduce new taxes on oil bought in Russia. The US believes it will keep prices at the same level and allow it to prepare for a full embargo. The US proposed tax mechanism aims to keep Russian oil on the market but limit the amount of revenue that can come to Moscow from exports, finance ministry officials told reporters in Brussels. Officials say tax revenue could be directed to a Ukrainian reconstruction and rehabilitation fund, forcing Moscow to pay for at least part of the massive rebuilding effort. Officials also said many governments are eager to stop buying Russian oil as soon as possible, but that's because of the high risk that a full embargo could significantly raise oil prices. According to Rystad Energy, an independent research firm advising investors, even with an expected, sharp drop in oil production, this year, Russian tax revenues will rise significantly to more than $180 billion because of higher oil prices. That's 45% more than in 2021. All in all, the oil tanker traffic data shows that crude oil exports from Russia have declined by no more than 20%, a modest figure given the sanctions measures. A Spire Global study shows that the number of oil tankers departing Russian ports has dropped from an average of 17 to 13 per day since US sanctions were announced on March 8. The nature of oil markets and slow changes in consumer habits mean that relatively small shortages can lead to significant price increases. While European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen promises an orderly ban on Russian oil and minimize the impact on world markets, oil analysts say radical changes will be far from orderly. Meanwhile, Europe has made incredible progress in breaking its dependence on Russian oil. An average of five tankers of Russian crude arrived at German ports each month from May 2021 to February 2022, according to Spire Global, a satellite company that tracks ships. In March, that number dropped to two. That number dropped to zero in April, 